Hi everybody, it's Laura and Arnie with Crazy Cool Cakes. Today we're starting a short series on how to make this adorable woodland themed baby shower cake. And we're starting with this baby bear. If you're interested in any of the tools and materials you see Arnie using in this video, be sure to check out the description box below. We're using gum paste to make this little guy and as you can see he's already started creating the torso by rolling it into a small cone shape. This little toothpick you saw him just add is just to help us keep everything nice and centered. We're going to replace it later on. To make a leg, just start off with a small ball of gum paste and roll it into a long teardrop shape. Then shape the foot like this. You want everything nice and smooth without any big dents. Plus you want to make sure that the second leg is the same exact size as the first. I'm using edible glue to stick everything together. Check out our tutorial on how to make it. Once glued, Arnie's using the flat end of our medium-sized ball tool to make sure the legs are totally flush up against the torso. You want to make sure that there's not any big gaps in between the two. Some parts of this baby bear are going to be a lighter brown, so all you need to do is mix some of your brown with some white. These little microscopic balls you see him flattening here will become the bear's foot pads. Man, you really needed your glasses for this, huh, sweetie? And a magnifying glass. Just kidding. Well, you're really good at these miniatures. That's why I've elevated you to the position of king of miniatures. <laughs> what, no pay raise? While I add these little foot pads, I'd like to invite you to join us on our social media. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram at Crazy Cool Cakes. If you make this little topper, we'd love to see it. Don't forget to tag us. For the bear's tummy, we're rolling out some gum paste and we're going to cut out a little oval shape. Right about here is where we'd like to point out that the small toothpick has been replaced by a complete toothpick. The toothpick is going through the entire torso and also going through the little foam core board that it's sitting on. The purpose of doing this is to keep the bear completely stable while it's drying, especially because it's going to have a really big head. And we don't want any tilting or leaning while it's drying. Also, we use the toothpick to help anchor our topper to the foam core board that the cake is on. Okay, back to me. <laughs> and I can't believe I got all that in there. Well, it's important. Yeah, it sure is. These little squares that you see us sculpting our toppers on just happen to be the scraps of the leftover foam core board that we use when we're making our cakes. Now just a little pokey tool for the belly button. The little arms are made the same way as the legs, except this time you're not going to be lifting anything on the ends. You want to make sure that they're both the exact same size. Here Arnie's using one of our new favorite tools to create little lines on the hand and we're just going to give this little guy three little fingers. This tool comes in an awesome set and I'll be sure to add the link for you underneath the video as well. Once everything's nice and smooth we're just adding a little bit of edible glue and adding the arms to the torso. You want to make sure that everything looks nice and even. You don't want one arm hanging down lower than the other. And just make sure everything's nice and pressed up against the torso. Super cute. Thank you, baby. Now let's move on to the head. For the baby bear's head, we're using triple the amount of gum paste that we used to make his torso. This is helpful to remember in case you want to make him a different size. So you saw him start off with a perfect ball and then the goal here is to make a slight dent right in the center and then just carefully and gently squeeze one end to puff it up a little bit more and this part is going to be the snout. Snout? Yeah, isn't that what it's called? Uh, I believe it's a muzzle. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> when we're adding the head, we always make sure it's perfectly centered and pushed all the way down. Make sure the toothpick is no longer visible. When working on the face, it does help to pre-make little dents just so that we know exactly where everything's going to go. We're using the same light brown to cut out another little oval shape and this is going to go over his snout. Just kidding, his muzzle. <laughs> <laughs> After we add this and make sure it's nice and flush, we're going to use the larger end of the smiley tool. This is from Wilton and just press in to make a cute little smile. Then we're using one of our favorite straight tools just to make these little tiny dimples and indentations in the muzzle. There you go. Now Arnie's making the indentations for the eyes just a tiny bit bigger so we can fill them with color. But first we're going to add the nose and for this you just roll out a small ball of black gum paste and then you shape it into a puffy little triangle. I love it when I finally get to add the nose. It starts coming to life. Yeah, it's all coming together. Look how cute. 
And now he's rolling out the tiniest little eyes in the world. <laughs> <laughs> the trick is getting them in the hole and not dropping them. <laughs> when we do drop stuff like this, there's no point in even looking for them. Just make another one. To make the ears, we're going to use a darker shade of brown and roll it into a ball. And then we're using our largest ball tool to make a nice little indentation right in the center. Then using the lighter shade of brown, we're going to roll out a little ball big enough to fit inside the hole. Then you just press it down until it's nice and flush and perfectly level with the dark brown gum paste. We love this bendy blade. You can just bend it and arch it in whatever angle you need. Here the ears were cut so that they fit the shape of the head perfectly. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a good time to invite everybody to subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. That way you won't miss any of the other videos that will be part of this woodland theme series. To finish off our bear, all we need is a cute little tail. Just roll a tiny little ball into a teardrop shape and then add a little bit of glue in the hole and in it goes. Just like that. Man, this little guy was sure fun to make. Well, you did it again, sweetie. Great job. Thank you, baby. That is so precious. Make sure you guys stay tuned to check out the next topper video in our Woodland themed baby shower cake series. Which one will it be? You're just going to have to wait to find out. All I know is it's going to be cute. Thanks for watching, everybody. And don't forget to subscribe. We'd also like to invite you to join us on our social media. Be sure to check us out on Facebook or Instagram. You can find the links underneath the video. Thanks for watching, everybody. We love and appreciate all of our subscribers. God bless you all. Till next time, God bless you guys.